In this video, we'll look at concentration of solutions. So here are three words to do with concentration and solutions. Solute, solvent and solution. So let's have a look at the definitions. The solute is the substance that dissolves in the solvent. The solvent is the liquid that the solute dissolves in. And the solution is the solute plus the solvent together. So let's have a look at an example. When copper sulfate is dissolved in water, a blue solution is formed. State the solute and the solvent. Copper sulfate is the solute and water is the solvent. Next we look at calculating concentration. So concentration equals moles of solute divided by the volume of solvent. So here's another way to represent this equation. C equals N over V. C stands for concentration and the unit for concentration is moles per decimeter. N is number of moles and V is volume of solvent in decimeters cubed. Volume must be in decimeters cubed and to convert from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed you divide centimeters cubed by 1000 to get decimeters cubed. So let's try an example. Find the concentration of a solution containing 20.0 grams of sodium hydroxide in 200.0 centimeters cubed of solution. So the first thing we need to do is change the grams to moles. So we use N number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass. So the mass of the sodium hydroxide is 20.0 grams. So we put 20.0 at the top and the molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 40.00, so that goes on the bottom. And that equals 0 0.500 moles of NaOH. So next we'll use this equation, C equals N over V. The N is number of moles of sodium hydroxide, which we've just calculated. So 0 0.500 divided by the volume, so the volume is 200, so that's 200 over 1000 because we have to get this into decimeters and that gives us a concentration of 2.50 moles per decimeter. So next we'll try another example. Find the concentration of a solution containing 0 0.830 grams of potassium iodide in 25.0 centimeters cubed of solution. So first we need to change from grams to moles, so we use this equation, number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass, and the mass is 0 0.830, and the molar mass of potassium iodide is 166.00. So that gives us 5.00 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of Ki. And next we use C equals N over V, so N is number of moles which we've just calculated, so that's 5.00 times 10 to the negative 3, and we divide that by the volume in decimeters, so it's 25.0 divided by 1000 to get decimeters, and that gives us a concentration of 0 0.200 moles per decimeter. So here's our last example, and this example is slightly different to the previous two. What mass of sodium chloride is required to make 500.0 centimeters cubed of a 0 0.500 mole per decimeter solution? So the first thing we need to do is find the number of moles of sodium chloride. And we use this equation, N equals CV. And we found this by rearranging C equals N over V. So N is number of moles and it equals the concentration times the volume in decimeters. So the concentration is 0 0.500 and the volume is 500 over 1000. So that gives us 0 0.250 moles of sodium chloride. So the question is asking for the mass of sodium chloride. So I've rearranged this equation which is number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass to solve for M. So M which is mass equals number of moles times molar mass. So we've just calculated the number of moles of sodium chloride, so that's 0 0.250, and the molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.44. So that gives us the mass in grams of 14.6 grams of sodium chloride. 